Hey, Scott here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Final Fantasy VII. We have Tifa's ultimate weapon, so we're gonna go get uh, we're gonna go get Sids, and then we're going to at least start the process in this video. I don't know if we can finish it in this video um, of getting clouds. So first things first, it's gonna help us get clouds. Of course, let's go get uh, let's go get Sids' ultimate weapon. I was also doing a little uh, little looking. Uh, for for the limit breaks and uh, Tifa's limit break seems pretty easy. Um, I already have Sid's uh, ultimate limit break, but I need to get him to level three. And it looks like um, limit breaks are kind of based on uh, limit breaks are more based on how many killing blows you land than anything else. So I guess I'm gonna have to go uh, do some grinding where Sid Sid deals a whole bunch of damage. All right, so here we are. We're in Rocket, Rocket Town, and we just go talk to this old man here. My my precious rocket is gone. Huh? I know. No matter how much I look, the rocket's still gone. But I just can't stop it. Just call it an old man's folly, if you will. Sorry to get you into this. For me, it's kind of a hobby. But out of appreciation, let me give you this. I wish you. I wish you'd take care of it and use it. All right, so there we go. We got um, we got Sid's ultimate weapon here, the Venus Gospel. Uh, again, growth is nothing, which I think is fine. Now it also gives us a whole bunch of more um, slots, so I can get you know MP plus. Uh, actually, can do some MP turbo. Get some MP Turbo going in there, and then, uh, I don't know, I'll click Manipulate and Sense, Death Blow. I will refine this as I go, as we go on, um, gathering, gathering everything. Alright, so that's, that's it as Ultimate Weapon. Um, so the one Materia I am going to want, and I don't know if I have it or not. It doesn't look like I have it. So I need to find out where to buy it. Which sucks. So just give me one second here. And I'm looking. And the, Well, the material that we're looking for is called the long range material. And uh, this is a, I'm looking at a list of only green material right now to get this, so I'm just farting around. Um, it's going to be independent material, I guess, is it's purple. Okay, long range. God damn it, the only place to get it is the mithril mine. Where is the mithril mine? Oh, that's pretty easy. Alright, well, if I have to do that, I have to do that. Let's see if I can avoid doing that. So, let's see, we're gonna have to go over here to Junon. And for anyone who knows what's about to go down, they know what's about to go down, but anyone who doesn't, we need to get Cloud's ultimate weapon, and there's only one way to do that, and that is to. Uh, I gotta go across the ocean. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, the only way to do that is to battle with ultimate weapon. Ultimate weapon. Um, ultimate weapon himself is not uh, is not too bad. Compared to uh, compared to the two other optional weapons, but he does have a lot of hit, hit points. As a bonus, uh, we, when we f we fought him in Medil, he maintains that damage. So he's 100,000 hit points. We fought him once; he's going to maintain that damage. And now we're going to keep fighting him, and he's going to run away, and he's going to never be able to kind of heal himself. 
Okay, so let's go. We'll get. We're just gonna. So we're just gonna. We're just gonna pummel. Um. Actually, I should have probably used. Um, should use something a bit. Uh, or uh, should use big guard to protect myself. But now we'll just get. We'll get Alexander out. And the goal. The goal to defeat ultimate weapon. <laughs> this is. Alexander doesn't make any sense when flying. That's fine. Um, the goal is just just gonna hit him with as fast and, uh, as possible, uh, doing as much damage as possible because um, he's gonna run away anyway. So we're gonna kind of minimize um, minimize his running awayness. Oh, that was almost 10,000 damage. And there he goes. And this is actually kind of, it's reminiscent of the um, Final Fantasy VI boss called ooh, called Doom Gaze. Actually, you couldn't actually see Doom Gaze in Final Fantasy VI. You had to fly above the water until you randomly encountered him. It was a much bigger pain in the ass because at least Ultimate Weapon, uh, you can kind of chase him down. Follow him! Whoa! He will eventually give up, and I want to... So, luckily I have a list. I have a list in front of me of where he's gonna go hide. Uh, because I wanna go and I just wanna heal up and save. Judging from the amount of the, how quickly he ran away, I don't think I don't think he's gonna be a problem. Uh, let's see where is I'm, I'm just gonna get the uh, ultimate weapon battle. Yep, thank you for a job well done. Let's save it up. Of course, one thing one thing leads into another. Getting um, getting Cloud Ultima Weapon is uh, is just gonna get, make it much easier to get um, Omni Slash, which we have to go to the Gold Saucer and fight in the arena to get. All right, let's go on. I don't think he's gonna be. He's not a bro, so he's not going to be... Oh, no, there he is. He hung out. He's cool. Come on. Come on, you jerk. He ran into you. Come on. Come on, man. Yeah, I'm not going to give up. Alright, 
after a couple times bumping into him, he should fly to his next destination, and I think that's what's happening, because he's not turning. Uh, where's he going? Okay, there we go. Alright, cool, this one's on the ground. Alright, cool. Clouds at limit break. Is he flying away already? Ah, oh, come on, bro. That was only like 10,000 damage. Ultimate weapon is, ult, ultimate weapon is, is not a bro. Okay, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh man. Alright, just gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna save. If you're if you're worried, I'm just gonna heal up and then we'll uh, we'll head out again. I mean, so far at least the plan is working. Like, I was trying to count how many times I don't know how many times uh, meteor rain shoots out meteors, but those were doing almost 3,000 damage each. So it could have been easy, like, 15,000 damage done. I know he's not under 20, because when he's under 20,000, he'll go right to Cosmo Canyon. Alright, so let's, uh, let's just fly around here, try to get him. Scanning the horizon, looking for ultimate weapon. This always could be worse. I mean, this could be more tedious. You guys see him? If you see him, just call out. Just, just shout. That would be appreciated. Do do do! Shout! Shout! Let it all out. These are the lyrics of a song I don't know. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> uh, there he is. I found him. See? Easy. Come here. Come here, buddy. Bamo. Bam. Kabam! He's just like, just like panicking. And there's nothing too ultimate about him. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, I swear to God, ultimate weapon. All right, there he just screamed really loud. Now he's 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 making a beeline for wherever his next destination is, which is somewhere in the north. Where does he hang out in the north? Oh, he's hanging above the crater. Maybe he's gonna. Maybe he's got a bro. Did I just land in the crater? Did I just really screw that up that badly? Don't come on. Be there. Still be there. Still be there. Alright, he's still there. Alright. Alright, 
Alright, let's collect big guard. Quake 2. Alright, let's see how much damage Ultima is going to do to him. 6,000. Alright, and look! Fly away! This is obnoxious. go recover my magic power, but let's see if he's over near Midgar again. Uh, first let me check Cosmo Canyon. Because if he is at Cosmo Canyon, that means it's going to be the end. Uh, Cosmo Canyon should be this way. Alright, he's at Cosmo Canyon. Now it's time to save. Okay, HP slash MP restored. Okay, here we go. is at limit, but I need to have her heal everybody. Uh, so Tifa, I hope Tifa's limit's not going to be able to reach, so. Hyper bump, hyper bump, hyper jump. Oh shit. Do your thing. Is that really it? Shadow Flare. Okay, I'm not ready for this. Is it just one person? Yep. Alright, Cloud, you ate it. But luckily, I should have learned Shadow Flare from that. It's not saying I did. Better have learned. Shadow Flare. I don't think I learned Shadow Flare. Alright, there we go. The death of Ultimate Weapon. The death of Not So Ultimate Weapon.
Glad he wasn't closer to Cosmo Canyon. Alright, let's see. Enemy skill, did I get Shadow Flare? I did not get Shadow Flare. What the hell? Alright, either way. We'll move Hag Ragnarok and we'll add Ultimate Weapon. He'll be able to get to equip two more materia. I don't even know what to give him. I guess, I guess, I think that's the uh, extra is going to be HP and MP pluses. But you know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. Um. I am going to go get some more HP and MP pluses, but uh, I want... Ultima here, I'll get the MP plus here. I want your error turbo. I'll replace your turbo with I'll just replace your turbo with Bahama for now. And I'm gonna get Ultima with the MP turbo. Alright, cool. So that's uh, my main party going into fight Sephiroth has all their ultimate weapons. So I'm just going to I'm going to heal everybody up and save, and then uh, we're going to start uh, next next part. We're going to get uh, Tifas and Clouds uh, limit breaks, and then once we have the limit breaks, I think it's uh, maybe I'll do a little bit of uh, grinding just to make them all even level. Although judging by the performance against Ultimate Weapon, I don't think Sephiroth is really going to be that big of a deal or, or anything in the in the final cave. Although I wish uh, Glush Cloud got some of that sweet experience that uh, he missed out on. Because now what? Everyone is, uh, everyone's getting pretty even in the level. Alright, so next time.